What's up, y'all? It's Boss Lady here. Um, I'm here to bring y'all a message. I ain't gonna tell y'all nothing I ain't heard or seen or, or you know, went through. Um, and God gave me a message today, and the message was to uh, y'all need to start praying more. Get with the Lord, baby. Get with the Lord. I'm gonna keep pushing them. I ain't perfect. I ain't perfect, but the thing is, the discernment was like. A lot of people out here asking for stuff from God. And they be asking God for stuff. And they don't even be knowing why they asking for it. Um, Like the other day, this happened to me, y'all. True story, true story. Because I stay prayed up and I stay meditating. And I stay taking everything to God. And I was like, God, um, I just want. A, I, so let me go back to this. I'm, I'm going to go back. So I was watching the, um, it was no, what was that movie? No World Left Behind. So some kept on saying, Simone, that one number guy kept on saying, it's been on my mind. Like, I need to go watch that movie. I need to go watch that movie. Cause I barely watch TV and I barely do watch TV. I don't be trying to look at that stuff or I just do me. And he was like, um, so I finally went over to my sister house. And I watch, and I um, told my sister like put the put the movie on. I ain't seen it yet. She like you ain't seen it yet. So we talking about it or whatever. And the movie like really did something to me. And I was like, oh man. And one day me and Tony was in the car just driving, running a couple of errands or whatever. I think going to the grocery store going to get a couple of things from the store or whatever. And I prayed in the car. I'm like God, give me and my family a bunker. So a bunker is with all these you see all these famous people getting like they it's a pantry they like living underground so when the world go into shock uh when they go into shock like everybody is gonna be panicking it, it's gonna be like the food gonna dis like all that stuff the food gonna disappear all of that like if you don't get it now baby it won't be there like medicine it ain't money not even gonna matter none of that shit not, none of that stuff not gonna matter so and people like you hear like celebrities building them one underground and stuff like they growing fruit food in there so they can have some supplies and stuff like that so i'm in the car i said uh god give me and my kids a bunker you know what i'm saying because i don't want to be without you know what i'm saying so he i'm asking only reason why I'm asking because I got the worry at that, and I and God said you shouldn't be worrying at all. And you know, I mean, sometimes my flesh get the best of me. I'm not saying, like I said, I'm not perfect. And I was like, uh, I asked God for a bunker. Came home the next day, no, later on that day, and I'm doing the dishes or whatever, like listening to my um, music, but I tuned out for a minute. And God whispered to me, he said, Simone, so I thought about the movie. So he put it on my, he whispered, he said, remember the movie, the part where the girl was in that bunker and she was eating all that food and wasn't nobody in the house. So God was like, um, so I'm thinking like, who bunker was she in? Like, so God put it on my heart. He, he, he talking to me, he like, Simone. You just sat up here and asked me for a bunker. People out here building these bunkers, they're not even going to be able to enjoy them because how the world is in a movie. A lot of people die. They're not even going to, he like, I'm your daily bread. You got to kind of ask me. You got to, I'm a provider. Stop worrying. Stop trying to harvest things. I got endless. So I'm like, okay. Big G. Big G up there doing his thing. He up there doing his thing. Cause I'm like, uh, as I look up, I say, you talking to me. And I was up here where you're right. Let me keep, let me, cause me and God got our, our relationship, boo. So, um, and he also put it on my heart. He was like, Simone, go tell the people, stop asking for stuff. If they not ready to receive it. Like you can sit up here and people be like, ah, and the reason why a lot of people not ready to receive or go through their purpose is because they entertain the things that they got no business entertaining. Like they having a lot of soul ties and 
Like, y'all sitting up here, you can't walk with the devil and try to serve God. It's only one way. I'm telling you, it's only one way. It's either, it's, it's two ways in life. It's, it's good and bad. It's the right way. It's the wrong way. It's God and it's, or it's no way. <laughs> so, and I was sitting up here thinking, he was like, the reason why a lot of people be so jealous and envious of other people is because they sit up here and don't take the time out to 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 learn themselves or be in the now they sitting up here worried about the past the future on top of that they sitting up here um they can't do a lot of self-reflection um and they having a lot of people y'all be having sex with so many people that is not even funny that's another thing sex was was for people who wanted to you know, be fruitful and multiply, not to get that feeling because you got the urge you want to have sex. That wasn't that wasn't that for it. Whenever you had that urge, especially if you're not married or if you want to have kids, you supposed to take that energy, that energy, that sexual feeling, and you pose it like you know how you that that when you but I ain't try, I'm trying to I'm, the way I'm trying to explain it because just the way he told me to say it when you when you when you make a love that feel good after you then bust that nut. That's how you supposed to put that that you supposed to put that make love to your creation, whatever purpose he put into you. You supposed to be saving that energy. You're not supposed to be giving that energy to people because it become a soul tie. And you be a lot of y'all not even depressed. A lot of y'all just um a lot of y'all just carrying other spirits from other people because you sleeping with that person, sleeping with this person, sleeping with that person, sleeping with that person, and you taking on their energy. So whoever they slept with, they come sleep with you. And you be half of the time, you be all jolly and shit. And then in the next minute you turn around, you like, man, what the, what the, what the fuck, man, man, what the fuck, do, 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 do. And the whole time, it ain't even your energy, it's the person you slept with because they ready, they are, the person they putting on a fake smile and lo and behold, they was probably ready to tweak out or they was ready to go. They going through some stuff and they don't know how to deal with it. Because a lot of people don't know how to sit up here and deal with their emotions. That's why they turn to and they can't. And that's why they turn to drugs. And that's why they don't. That's, that's why they sit up here and let me go smoke a little weed. Let me go. Let me. It ain't nothing wrong with it. But y'all got to be out. Y'all got to be. Y'all be doing it the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Just like anything is a sin. You know what I'm saying? Like, not anything is a sin, but like, how can I say it? Like, y'all be sitting up here indulging in stuff that y'all ain't got no business doing and that you can't even get to your higher self because you're indulging in it too much. No matter what it is, it could be food, it could be drugs, it could be, um, fornicating it could be anything y'all gotta you gotta if you want to get to your next level baby you gotta leave that stuff alone you gotta pray and meditate whatever you're going through in life you gotta go to god and ask him no and i and i get it people be like man my people passed away i get it like i don't got no grandmothers no grandpas all i got is my mom and then the auntie my auntie just passed like Y'all, that was my, that was my roadie. You know what I'm saying? And my other auntie, whenever I needed something, those was my wise women. Like, I could go to them and ask them for all types of information or anything in that nature. And then when I was coming up, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I never really had friends that was my age. I always had friends that was older. And, 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 and that's the thing. This is where I get a lot of knowledge from because God used to put me on people's porch that was older like go help me um sit down and be talking out and talking for hours with these older folks but yeah you gotta be able to stop and and then it goes back to show like you gotta be able the reason why i say that is be, the reason why i say that about the knowledge or whatever about being around older folks because they can give you knowledge and a lot of older folks i get that a lot of people is dying and i get you want to ask god like why my mama why my dad why my cousin why my auntie why my uncle why my friend because y'all that everything is everybody everything on this earth is temporarily why not them they there to help us they got to help us and guide us. And I know it hurt or whatever, but you got to go to God and say, don't don't say, 
why not? Why why you take my people from me, God? He didn't. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 they coming back. They coming back. But he also wants you to come to him. He wants you to say, instead of saying, God, why you take my people? He wants you to come to him and say, God, help me with this pain. Help me to get better. Help me with this. Help me to understand this, God. He wants you, you that's what you, that, that's what he wants you. He wants you to come to him. He don't want you to go self-medicate. He don't want you to go overindulge in different things and that way to the point where you can't descend to your higher self. Because if you indulge in any of those type of things, you can't be your higher self. He wants you to pray, fast, and meditate so he you can be silent and sit still. Because he talks to you. God will talk to you, but you got to sit still enough and listen. Because if you're not sitting still long enough to listen, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, he ain't talking to me. He ain't real because you're not, you're not being deceptive. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody got the same 24 hours in a day. And people be sitting up here be like... Well, this person got this and this person got that. Uh, and be on Instagram, Facebook, a picture say a thousand words. If that person enjoying the fruits of their labor, let them. Don't go and hate on them. Don't go and um, write different things under their comments. Don't be jealous. Don't be envious. Don't be trying to put hexes on people. Don't be trying to do all of that stuff. It's not cool. You got to wait your turn. And if you wait your turn, and then on top of that, you got to wait your turn. You got the same 24 hours as the next person. And stop doing what you're doing. Like people be sitting up here saying, God, I want a new house. Yeah, but you can't even take care of the house that you in. People walking around here, house dirty as hell. Not only that, oh, I'm just renting. My my, my landlord won't fix up nothing. Learn how to fix up stuff. Because when you get a house, what you think you're going to be in there doing? I, 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 especially when you ain't got no funds to fix up no fucking house, you better get your ass in there and DIY some shit. Like, it, it, and it only take a couple of seconds. Just like people be like, "Oh, I want kids," and people be wanting stuff because they see other people have it, and half of the time they get it, they don't even appreciate it. Cause that's it. God want to give it to the people who gonna really appreciate it and love what they do, you know, and and love it. You know what I'm saying? And go and, and be grateful. He's not just going to keep giving, 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 giving. You're not being, and, and, and you're receiving it and you treating it like you don't care. That little thing that you're treating like you don't care could be uh, the, the biggest thing to the next person. So why would I give it to you when I could give it to somebody who's going to appreciate it? Like people be asking, I don't want to have kids. Why are you here? Put you in positions. People be asking for things. He'll put you in positions where, okay, she, 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 or he said they want kids. He gonna put you around a bunch of kids. So he gonna put you around kids who's real good. <laughs> he gonna put you around kids who's like got Satan in them. <laughs> but no the kid has Satan in them. But I'm saying, you all know what I'm saying. Like, who be bad as heck. And he want to see what you're going to do in that situation. And sometimes you got to empty that childhood trauma. If you're not willing to do the self-work. And you're going to bring that that pain that you grew up with. And put that stuff on your kids. You got to learn how to get over things. And pray to God. And ask God to help you get through them. Not suppress it. Because that's not the way to go. It's not. And like people be asking for cars be dogging cars get in car crashes be going to those little car meetups and no the cars cost a lot of money we could be giving it to a person who's catching the bus to work who's doing something productive every single day like y'all don't understand like y'all be asking for stuff but don't be ready for it just like or then y'all sit up here be talking about other people he's not gonna bless you if you sitting up here talking about the people that's getting it that's not how it works like you hear people like God don't play about me. Yeah, he don't play about his 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 angels. And see, and that that be delaying your that be delaying your blessings too when y'all sitting up here getting angry and y'all sitting up here talking about people. Don't be delaying and, and, and falling out with people over something that could have been talked about. It's not cool. Not at all. Like y'all gotta y'all gotta start stay prayed up, y'all. That's all I can say. Like, stay prayed up and meditate and fast so you can listen to God. You know what I'm saying? Stop self-medicating. Stop overindulging in things. You know what I'm saying? 
Cause he here, he's listening, and he gonna talk back. Cause he always talk back. He always talk back. He always talk back. 